All right, so does the Supreme Court verdict today clear the decks for Narendra Modi to make a debut on the national stage? Kya ab Delhi dur nahi, to borrow a Hindi phrase for Narendra Modi. That's a special debate tonight. Let's introduce our panel. First with us in the studio, Tanvir Jafri, who is of course the son of Ehsan Jafri, who was among those killed in that gruesome Gulberg Society riots case of 2002. A family that's been fighting a long battle for justice and are still saying that they will not give up. Also joining us, Ravi Shankar Prasad, senior leader, of course, general secretary of the BJP with us on the program, as well as Abhishek Manu Singhvi, national spokesperson for the Congress. Congress Party. Also joining us, Dushan Dave, senior advocate in the Supreme Court. Joining us from Baroda tonight, Professor J.S. Bandukwala, somebody who also suffered in the riots of 2002. And with us in the studio, Ashok Malik, senior journalist and commentator. We'll also be crossing over to London to speak to R.K. Raghavan, who of course is the head of the SIT, the special investigative team that has filed a contradictory report to the one submitted by senior lawyer Raju Ramachandran, who was appointed by the court as an amicus curiae, a friend of the court. Let me start, uh, if I may, with you, Ravi Shankar Prasad. Do you believe that it was mature of the BJP to claim victory and a <clears throat> political vindication when all that has really happened is that a trial court will now decide, perhaps over many years, on the allegations, the serious allegations against Narendra Modi's culpability in this particular case? Why is the BJP claiming political vindication? Barkha, first of all, riots are unfortunate. And those who have perpetrated must be brought to book. And many indeed have been brought to book. And even Gul Gulbarga society, actual offenders need to be brought to the book. And SRT is prosecuting and also trying those who are the offenders. But having said that, how I see it present verdict today, you cannot divorce it from the context of it. And the context of it is, some people have made hating Modi almost like an industry. Riot in Gujarat will never be solved unless Modi is named, unless Modi is punished. To those who have hate Modi, certainly they have been rebuffed today in the sense, and what is the context? Three things. Gita Johari's case, her investigation was disbelieved. Gujarat police investigation was disbelieved. SIT constituted by the Supreme Court. That SIT gave its own report. Not one but two reports. Now, lastly, we have Mr. Raju Ramtanan's report, whose report you may be privy that he has adversely commented. I don't know. It is in sealed cover. Maybe Barkhayat may be knowing it. No, I'm just, saying, I'm that, just saying the Supreme fact that the Supreme Court said there are two reports and the trial court will now determine what to do with those two reports seems to indicate we, that the we, reports we, are not identical. Can, just let me complete, Barkha. The Supreme Court was monitoring the investigation. And legally speaking, you have seen the monitoring by Supreme Court in case of 2G, it has upgraded the CBI and all others, including Enforcement Directorate for almost a short investigation. In case of uh, this cash for vote scam, Supreme Court almost scolded the Delhi police for sitting over as to from where did the money come. How the court monitors you have also seen. In this case, the Supreme Court did not find infirmity in the investigation of the SIT. I am purely going by the judgment. And the Supreme Court has referred the matter as is the requirement in law. Okay. Therefore, I again say, you cannot completely divorce the context of this whole proceeding. And the context by the Modi haters and the Modi baiters was, they were seeking to substitute hard propaganda for solid evidence. NDTV's cricket app, Android and iPhone. Faster scorecard, special analysis, and much more. Download free. NDTV.com slash apps.